asexual propagation from a stem cutting. This is also known as cloning. Once your plants are mature enough and you have decided which ones to take cuttings from, there are several ways to root the cuttings. We are going to show you three of our favorite ways. Starting with rapid rooter plugs made of composted materials and plant polymers, then stonewool plugs, and ending with aeroponics. Plantroid's quick root cloning gel will be used in all three methods shown. We recommend pouring a small amount into a shot glass container size glass to prevent any cross contamination. Now let's select our cutting. A good source of cuttings are side limbs from the main stalk. These are known as laterals. Cut as closely to the main stalk as possible without damaging the stalk. This will help prevent any funguses from developing. Once removed, work as quickly as possible. First remove most of the larger leaves, leaving only two or three nodes or sets of leaves. Then cut the stem at a 45 degree angle, leaving enough stem to insert into the rooter. Dip it as quickly as possible into the gel to prevent air from getting into the stem. This is known as embolism. Insert the stem until it stops. Let's see that one more time. Cut. Remove large leaves. Cut at a 45 degree angle. Dip. And insert. Repeat this process until your tray is full, or when you have as many as you need. Keep in mind, they may not all root, so do a few extra. Once full, give them a light misting to slow down their transpiration rate, which should keep them from wilting. Carefully place your humidity dome over them. Normally, you would pull from the back to the front, but we are doing it backwards here so you can see. The correct method will be shown later. Now we place our tray in the heat mat and insert the thermometer from our heat mat thermostat into the rooting area. Set the thermostat to the desired temperature, usually between 75 and 85 degrees depending on the plant. You may want to lift the lid every few days to allow for fresh air. Other than soaking overnight, stonewall plugs are done in about the same way. Take your cutting and dip it into the gel. Now place it in the plug, making sure it is at least one quarter inch from the bottom of the plug. Place it in the tray and repeat. Miss. Cover gently, pulling the dome from the back toward you, making sure all of the leaves are in the dome.
before, place it on the heat mat, making sure to set the desired temperature. Now to the aeroponic method. We are using a clear Easy Clone 30 to allow you to see inside. Normally they are black to prevent light from entering. We will fill the Easy Clone to just below the manifold. to choose a liquid rooting stimulator. Our choice is because root stimulator which ensures strong disease-free roots. After adding your stimulant, turn on the air pump to the stones. This will stir the solution and help keep the water at room temperature. Once mixed, check and adjust the pH to between 5.8 to 6.3. Even though it will get washed away, still dip them into the gel to prevent an embolism and add hormones. Insert the cutting into the neoprene puck, leaving an inch or two to stick out of the bottom. Place it in the system. Once again, repeat until full and missed. Place the lid back onto the system and plug the pump in. Most aeroponic cloners don't come with a humidity though, so you may need to miss them a couple times a day for a few days. In most cases, you should have roots in 7 to 14 days.